Space Station crew returns safely to Earth, practice for our asteroid sample return mission, and a new discovery from old data. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On April 17th, our Andrew Morgan, Jessica Meir, and Alex Kripochka of the Russian space agency Roscosmos said goodbye to the International Space Station's Expedition 63 crew, including our Chris Cassidy. Several hours later, Morgan, Mir, and Skripochka landed safely in Kazakhstan. Morgan spent nine months on the station while Mir was on board for about six months. During that time, she conducted the first three all-woman spacewalks with NASA's Christina Cook. On April 14th, we conducted the first practice run with our OSIRIS-REx spacecraft in preparation for its attempt this August to collect a sample from asteroid Bennu and safely return that sample to Earth. The rehearsal, known as Checkpoint, placed the spacecraft the closest it has ever been to Bennu. This is NASA's first ever sample return mission to an asteroid. Old data from our Kepler Space Telescope, which was retired in 2018, has led to the discovery of an Earth-sized exoplanet in its star's habitable zone, about 300 light years from Earth. Out of all the exoplanets found by Kepler, this distant world, called Kepler 1649c, is most similar to Earth in size and estimated temperature. The 50th anniversary of Earth Day is April 22nd. To help observe the anniversary virtually in this new world of social distancing, we have put together new and curated online videos, activities, and other resources at nasa.gov slash earthday. Some of the material is available in both English and Spanish. We also encourage you to use the hashtag Earth Day at home to share images showing what you did to observe Earth Day. NASA is looking for help from video gamers and citizen scientists to map coral reefs around the world. Participants will play a video game to identify and classify corals while virtually traveling in an ocean vessel. The game, called NemoNet, which is available for iOS devices and Mac computers, uses 3D images of the ocean floor, corals, algae, and seagrass taken by specialized NASA instruments mounted on drones or aircraft. Data from NemoNet will eventually enable NASA's Pleiades supercomputer to map out the world's corals at an unprecedented resolution. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.